This morning we have some breaking news. Congress has certified the Electoral College votes for President-elect Joe Biden. He will be inaugurated in just 13 days on January 20th. Yeah, but Nick, that comes after an unprecedented scene. Obviously at the U.S. Capitol building Wednesday, you probably saw it. Thousands of President Trump supporters breaking into the Capitol building, sending lawmakers actually into lockdown. The Capitol complex secure this morning, but still in shambles. You can see all of the damage that people left behind. Law enforcement Enforcement still on scene this morning. Washington, D.C. also has a citywide curfew in place that will expire at 6 o'clock this morning. One woman, an Air Force veteran, was shot and killed during those riots. Multiple officers were also injured. The rioters, like Trump, allege there was widespread voter fraud. They insist President Trump won the election. Within the last couple of hours, President Trump has come out, come out spoken publicly, saying that there will be an orderly transition. Well, at this hour, windows and doors at the U.S. Capitol are broken. Representatives' office are in shambles after they were completely ransacked. CBS 4's Alexa Green has been working all night to record this historic day on Capitol Hill. Alexa, we really haven't seen people storm the Capitol since the War of 1812. Yeah, you're right. It's really hard to believe. Good morning to you, Nick. And so many Americans wondering right now how this was even possible. A building that's supposed to be so secure. It's a staple in our democracy now in shambles this morning after a mob breached and then attacked our Capitol. We spoke with a former FBI agent who says protests like this, they're usually known to intelligence agencies ahead of time. He says typical security is planned to over deliver, not under deliver. Other local security experts are shocked at how easy it was for these protesters to break what they call buffer zones. These are layers of barricades or security points within the Capitol. In some instances, we saw people smashing windows with shields and even entering chamber halls. The, the Capitol is a difficult building to secure because it has a lot of people that work there. There are a lot of people that visit there. There are many people that have legitimate business there. The FBI, we do know, was called to the scene in a tweet. They asked Americans to help identify some of these individuals who were involved in yesterday's violence. They're now accepting tips and digital media. Now, not only was there destruction, violence, injuries, but sadly, four people died during all of this. Police say one woman was shot inside the Capitol and three others died after suffering some sort of medical emergencies. This morning, still so many unanswered questions. We do know that curfew in D.C. It remains in effect until 6 a.m. this morning. Nick. All right, and Alexa, there are even more law enforcement officials in our nation's capital right now this morning as well, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. More than 100 National Guard troops, they were sent into the U.S. Capitol and they remain here this morning. Some reports saying that decision to bring the National Guard, it didn't come from the president, but instead Vice President Mike Pence. Nick. Oh.